Anthony Blinken has issued a statement wherein he said that he welcomes the release of 50 hostages that also includes Americans from captivity in Gaza. He has thanked Qatar and Egypt for their partnership and has also appreciated Israel's support for a humanitarian pause that allows for humanitarian aid to reach Gaza. So first comment coming in there, Ambassador Suresh Kumar Goel, from the uh, Americans. Which, which actually fits into the kind of contours of the deal that we know about. Uh, the only thing that, that I would say, we I think most of the details are now into in open. There may still be some because there is always that degree of suspicion between Hamas and Israel, uh, very obviously. Uh, Qatar is a mediator mostly, and Qatar, we all know, uh, is uh, is one <laughs> which carries some weight with the Hamas. Al Saniye is actually son, uh, is living in Qatar. So I think basically the details are uh, uh, now available. The only thing is that with the degree of suspicion between the two, somebody has to make sure that the ceasefire agreement is implemented as it has been discussed. And again, please keep in mind the fact that ceasefire is not the end of the war. Israel has made it very clear that the war will go on after the ceasefire. Yes. Right. Uh, Group Captain Devnath, uh, let me uh, draw you in here as well. The U.S. obviously appreciating uh, the fact that hostages will be released, 50 of them, uh, uh, including certain Americans. Obviously, uh, they have uh, thanked Qatar and Egypt as well uh, for helping broker this. Well, yes, Anthony Blinken has conveyed his happiness, if I can use that word, on this development. Uh, uh, you see, any negotiation is always step by step, phase by phase, and never in one go. No country, even Hamas, will not give away all its assets. I am talking about the prisoner assets in one game, uh, one uh, deal. Uh, Hamas will use them slowly, uh, one by one, in small, small quantities as a bargaining chip. Hamas will first obviously release uh, women, children because uh, of uh, uh, certain uh, difficulties, logistics difficulties in looking after them. Many of them are not uh, very fit. Many of them are fragile. Hamas will obviously uh, in the second tranche uh, leave U.S. citizens, purely U.S. citizens who don't have a uh, dual citizenship with Israel. Similarly, French government is also putting pressure that purely French citizens must be left by Hamas. Uh, now, in this game, two important factors are there. Uh, how effectively USA controls the behavior of Israel? and how effectively Qatar and Egypt are able to influence Hamas to stick to the small print. Small print is absolutely clear that after this Hamas will release further tranche of uh, hostages only when it sees a clear indication from world community assured by USA that Israel will not continue with further war. If Hamas has even an iota of doubt uh, of that uh, Israel Air Force will continue bombing after this, then they will definitely, they will definitely not leave Israeli citizens who are male and who are fit physically today. Any uh, terrorist organization, any guerrilla war, uh, ma uh, warfare man knows it. We being in military, we know it. That as long as any guerrilla outfit or a terrorist organization is under the threat of annihilation by a regular force, they will not leave the last tranche of the prisoners who are obviously male, Israeli citizen, physically fit and uh, who can uh, remain useful assets for Hamas. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.